Hey, this is Jacob at SalesPad, and today we're going to look at part two of uh, Ship 2 using UPS World Chip. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and log into my company here. Um, so I log into World Chip, or to Ship 2, I have World Chip running. Um, <clears throat> so there's a couple other things. We already have our settings uh, taken care of with our user options, our shipping method maps, things like that. Um, <clears throat> there's one other thing that I have to take care of here. So if you notice, if I go to my sh uh, monitor and hit the search button, I've got a couple documents here. One with UPS ground. If I go ahead and hit import, it's going to tell me that it can't find World Ship's key import window. So then we have to set that up in World Ship. So once we hit OK, flip over to World Ship, under our import and export data, under the keyed import tab, we can turn on the Ship 2 import. And what this does is it pops up this additional screen here. Now we've seen this take a couple minutes for this window to actually pop up. So if you get uh, World Ship not responding or, or it seems to be sluggish, that's typically why. Um, but this screen will pop up once this up is up then we're ready to actually start importing data um, into world ship so uh, the other thing that we're going to look at is my shipping method maps so based off of my setup under my method maps the only thing I have set up is UPS ground or ground is mapped to UPS ground so I've got a couple documents here that have different um, shipping methods so this one has uh, an international shipping method so if I excuse me if I hit the document number it comes up and it tells me that it's not mapped to UPS service and so therefore it can't be processed through ship to so um, even though it, it does show in the monitor you still can't do anything with it um, as far as processing the document through ship to this one in this case is a UPS or is a ground shipping method so we know that that's UPS ground so when I click on the document number it is going to populate my data into UPS world ship um, so I get a prompt there about end of day so that's just my UPS world ship setup but as you see it, pro it populates all of my address information for this customer it populates the reference number one with the document number it goes ahead and says my UPS service so essentially all I have to do from here is actually type in the document uh, or my package weight in this case I'm just going to make up that this package weighs seven pounds and it's going to give me a, sh a shipment cost six dollars and ten cents now based on my setup since uh, when I hit process shipment it's going to do a couple of things one is it's telling me that this uh, is looking for an email address now I didn't have an email address specified on the um, on my sales document so I could have at this time could go ahead and type one in so I'm gonna go ahead and just do this at to uh, support at salespad.net and so and that's because I have this set to use the quantum view notify now that is based off of the setting out of uh, out of um, ship to and where it's looking for the sales document or for the email address now I'm gonna get actually undo this document go ahead and cancel out of this process uh, because I want to show you where that email address is coming from so I cancel it from the ship to side I'm gonna jump back into sales pad real quick jump into my sales monitor and we're gonna find my document that I'm looking for um, I believe it's this 13 right here um, and if I take a look at um, flip this over real quick to the warehouse if I take a look at my uh, address tab notice I have an email address field here this is the field that we're pulling from um, for not for the uh, quantum view notify so I'm going to go ahead and just put bob at afe.com here and save the document. I'm going to go ahead and close out of it, minimize this, and jump back over to my search screen here. Um, so this D5113 is the one I'm going to mess with now. So by clicking on that, it's going to go ahead and import it into World Ship. Again, it populates everything that I need. This is going to be seven pounds, six dollars and ten cents. If I look at the options under Quantum View Notify, um, it's going to have uh, already filled in the um, information for me so if I look at recipients if you'll notice it pulled in Bob at afe.com already and so now I'm ready to process this document and this is my write back prompt that I get from world ship so it's it's here that I actually have control of canceling um, out of that writing the freight back but it's going to tell me the amount that it's going to write back uh, it's going to tell me my handling charges any existing freight that's on the document and I have the option of saying yes or no here so I'm going to go ahead and say yes and then this is just for my file um, or for my UPS label and so if you notice now if I hit search that document is no longer listed in the field if I flip back over to sales pad look at D5113 there's my tracking number and there's my note again this is Jacob at sales pad thanks for watching